Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Bushman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. On January 11th, we have the first new moon of the new year. So happy new year and happy new moon. So before we get into the forecast for each individual life path for this full, uh, this new moon, uh, just be aware that this, of course, is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading where we take a look at your own personal numerology, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below, and I would love to work with you. This is also a great time, if you haven't done so yet, to get your year ahead forecast um, and your diamond for your current age. So if you haven't done that, you can do that on my website as well. Again, I look forward to working with you. All right, so let's take a look to see what this new moon of this new year has in store for us. Life Path 11-2. Wow, you all are working with some really big energy around this new moon. So we have a new moon. Um, and this cycle is about, you know, a couple weeks long. So what you initiate under this this new moon, what you start, because new moons are about initiations, new starts, planning, um, setting intentions, taking action, uh, going after, you know, your goals, those sort of things. Whatever you start under this new moon, and I love that this is happening at the beginning of January, at the start of the year, whatever you start now has the potential to be wildly successful, has the potential to sort of play out over the um, sort of longer than just the two weeks that this new moon will be sort of um, the strongest. So this is significant. So you're going to be working with the energy of the 22-4, which is also a master energy, uh, master level energy. And you're also going to be working with bluebird energy. Let's talk about the 22-4. So the 22-4 is the master builder. It's master builder type of energy. And when it comes in a life path or a prominent placement, it can be... Um, it can be a little challenging, right? It can be something about building a legacy type thing. But when it comes in a cycle, it can be very beautiful, very rewarding. This can be a time where it's like your past efforts, you know, are now coming to fruition. You're seeing the results of your efforts put forth. You're seeing the fruits of your labor. You're seeing like those like things coming to justice, like big rewards for the effort that you've put forth over a period of time. Um, this is a very, and it's, it's not often that we get a 22, four cycle. So when we do, we can do so much with it, so much with it. This is a great time for advancements, for making plans on how to make your dreams come true. And really, I know that sounds cheesy, but really under a 22, four cycle, you'll either be seeing your dreams come true at this time, or you'll be seeing the very clear path and how to make that happen in a very um, systematic, practical way. And so it's almost like the people, places, things, resources uh, will come and find you <laughs> and sort of fall in your lap as if by magic. Now, again, this is a general reading, so, um, but just kind of see how this plays out. And because it's 22-4 energy, you know, it's likely you're not going to see this just come in in one big swoop. You're probably going to see it unfold over a period of time um, because usually anything with four energy is not quick. So this is a great time, a great time to launch something, to put yourself out into the world. And you might find that you're catapulted there, whether you want to be or not. Uh, because remember, you are an 11-2. So you are the inspirational leader. The 22-4 brings the practicality, brings the tangible physical results to whatever it is that inspires you. So it's possible that um, you've become the expert at something through your journey, right? Whether it's through schooling, whether it's through life experiences, whatever the case may be. But if you are at the point of feeling ready to launch something, to put yourself out there, this is a beautiful chef's kiss kind of energy for, to do that under this illumination, for sure. Um, again, it might take some time to sort of see, you know, it build and sort of come to fruition, especially if you're just initiating it now. But if you um, start something, launch something, um, you know, initiate something at this time, it has the, the potential to be just wildly successful. So under this 22 energy, 
it often will be a culmination of something, a, some kind of cycle completing some kind of fulfillment. And so you can definitely see yourself reaching some kind of a goal at this time. Um, it's kind of like, as cheesy as it sounds, it's like your secret desires can become a reality now. So uh, this can this can this can indicate success on a huge scale, an attainment of those impossible dreams that you thought were only dreams type thing. I don't know how to articulate it so that I can get the energy across, but this is big, big attainment kind of energy. Um, so this is a great time to make those plans to do those things to say yes to those opportunities or the things that you've been sort of t toying with in your your mind right or your imagination um to say yes to it to make it happen um these are this is like bringing into the tangible those ideas that you've just contemplated and might have thought were too big and unachievable or unattainable this energy says, oh no, it's attainable and it's going to be way bigger than you could have imagined type thing. It's that kind of energy. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One thing I would say is make sure that you keep a practical kind of sense about you. Um, you know, make sure that your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. Make sure that you're not skipping steps. Make sure that you are putting in the effort. You're showing up. You're doing your best type thing, especially if you're initiating something under this energy. If things are coming to you now, like those rewards, that fulfillment, attainment, you know, just let that pour in. There's nothing you have to do. You've already done it. Uh, um, but again, if you're starting something at this time, just know that you're going to have to commit to it, but it will, I mean, I can't say 100%, right? But I'm saying based on the numerology, it will pay off and it will pay off in, you know, tenfold, a hundredfold. 22-4 energy when it comes in a cycle is just incredibly powerful, successful kind of energy. It's incredibly beautiful. Um, this is a great time also to think in sort of like large sweeping terms and sort of, you know, instead of like, this would be a situation where it's like if you you need to ask for assistance or you need to ask for backing or financial backing or something like that or if you want to collaborate with someone this is the type of energy where you just bypass all of um you sort of let me how do i want to say this you go to the the top person right you go to that person and you ask for what you need and it's likely that you will see it come to fruition it's likely that you will see that support come through um it's as if by magic type thing. So this is this is one of those things where it's like they will see the benefit of your idea. They will see the benefit of what you're presenting under this energy. You have to be able to back it up though. So, you know, if you're going to present something to someone um, or you're going to ask for backing type thing, you need to be able to back it up and commit to it and see it through, right? That the 22 will, will require that of you. Um but yeah, you could be like, you know, skyrocket to the top of your field. You could skyrocket to, you know, just see a lot of um, social media support or whatever the case may be. So uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy to start this year off with 11 twos. I'm loving this. Of course, you're going to have to show up, though. Again, if you're initiating something at this time, this is going to require your commitment and continuing to um, see it through to completion. Um, but yeah. I definitely like this. And I also like that this energy can sort of put you in the spotlight. It can put you in front of the right people at the right time and sort of open doors for you. Uh, whether you're ready for that or feel ready for that or not, this energy can do that. But again, it's going to take you saying yes to it and showing up. So beautiful, beautiful energy here. Uh, have I said that 10 million times? <laughs> um, but yeah. Loving it. And then the other thing I would say is with bluebird energy, this is like a breaking free. This is like a freedom from strife. This is a being seen like you like you've been caged or like restricted in some way and now you're flying free and you are being seen. Like again, bluebird, if you've ever seen a mountain bluebird, especially in the winter, um, they're this brilliant blue color and they stand out against the, the white snow and they're just breathtaking, incredibly breathtaking. And that's you. <laughs> so this is, this is for sure such a beautiful energy for you to shine 11 twos, whether you're comfortable with that or not, this is a beautiful energy for you to step into the spotlight and, you know, be the bluebird and sing your song. 
So I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And then again, like I said, for some of you, it's just going to be about you just sitting back and seeing things come to you now because you've, you've put so much in. So love this, love this, love this. Anyway, I hope it's a great new moon and I hope you all have a happy new year and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.